This is just a simple note on vectorized operations in R. So vectorized operations uh, is one of the features of the R language that make it that makes it easy to use uh, on the command line and makes it very kind of nice to write code uh, without having to do lots of looping and things like that. Um, and so it's kind of a natural thing to have uh, in a computational language. Uh, many other types of languages like MATLAB have this kind of feature. Um, so the idea with vectorized operations is um, is that things can happen in parallel um, when you, uh, for example, want to do a computation. For example, suppose I got two vectors here, x and y. x is the sequence 1 through 4, and y is the sequence 6 through 9. Uh, and I want to add the two vectors together. Now, when I say I want to add them, what I mean is I want to add the first element of x to the first element of y, the second element of x to the second element of y, etc., the third element to the third element. Uh, so I want to kind of do things in parallel like that. So in other languages, you might have to write a loop to do that. So you loop through each element and kind of add them one by one. But in R, you can just use the plus to, uh, on the two vectors, and it will just add them together. So x plus y kind of does what you would expect. It adds 1 to 6, 2 to 7, 3 to 8, and 4 to 9. So you get the vector 7, 9, 11, 13. Um, similarly, you can use the greater than uh, or less than symbols to um, give you logical vectors. So for example, x greater than 2. Um, so, well, x is actually a, a vector of four numbers. So, which one? So, which number are you comparing to two? Well, the the vectorized operation compares all the numbers to two, um, and it gives you a vector of falses and trues depending on which numbers happen to be bigger than two. Uh, so, you can also use greater than or equal to, and that'll tell you which numbers are greater than or equal to two, uh, and the double equal sign. Uh, test for equality. So it'll take each element of y and test to see whether it's equal to 8. Uh, other And the other kind of um, or arithmetic operations like multiplication by the asterisk and division by the solidus uh, are all vectorized types of operations. So when you want to multiply, divide, add, subtract uh, vectors, you just you can do the natural thing, just add them together or multiply them together and they will be and they will be uh, the operation will be done in parallel. Uh, similarly, you can do the, you can do a, uh, you can add mate, you can add and subtract and multiply and divide matrices together. So uh, it's useful to know this because there are different types of mul matrix multiplication. So I've created two matrices here, x and y. Uh, eight, x is the matrix one through four. It's a two by two matrix, um, and y is a is a matrix that's all tens. Uh, it's also a two by two matrix. So if I just do x times y, uh, this is not a mat matrix multiplication. This is an element-wise multiplication. So the first, the kind of the one one element of x is multiplying the one one element of y, and the two two element is multiplying the two two element of, of the other matrix, etc. So each element is multiplied uh, together in parallel. Same when you do division. This is not a matrix inverse or something like that. This is just dividing one matrix literally element by element by another. Um, so if you want to do a true matrix multiplication, uh, you have to use the percent star percent. Which that's the symbol for a matrix multiplication. Um, so when you so this is just that's it for vectorized operations for now. Uh, you'll see these a lot more often later on. But the idea, but I just wanted to introduce this uh, idea uh, because it makes code easier to write. And for those of you who are kind of used to other types of programming languages, if you've programmed in other languages where you can't do this kind of thing, it's sometimes uh, it's common to kind of re reflexively go to something like a for loop or a while loop or whatever it is. Um, uh, but, in this, uh, but in a language like R, you can just use the vectorized operations to make the code a lot simpler.